Alright, so I was going to clean my print head, but I'm say that for another day. Just real quick, you know, setting up your printer. When you get it, you know, it's pretty much out the box like this. Uh, this light here is the main light. You want to keep this on all the time. You know, to make sure uh, it shakes the ink up. You know, and this is your uh, system power, you know, to power everything. So, once you get it out of the box, before you even put the ink and all that in there, you set that up. And you make sure this stays on. This is the what actually controls the motor to keep the ink shaking. This one stays off. Uh, this is for, um, you know, in case you get in contact with support. This is supposed to let them know, you know, whatever's going on with the computer if you need be. Um, this is the fan. We're supposed to suck the uh, film down, but, you know, it's up to you. And this here, this is what you want to press first. Press and hold it. Get the carriage moving. Then you click this one off. It unlocks it, so you can move that freely. And this, I'm going to come back to that. Your ink, it would have a, a cover on it. You take that off. I keep it off. You get some light. I keep it off because, you know, it really don't make no difference. Your ink. They tell you to use a syringe. You got to take these out. These, the second hole always stays open. But this, of course, you take out the, to uh, put the ink in. They tell you to use a syringe, but you will be there all day. They say, oh, don't use the funnel because of the mess or it might not want to go in. But, you know. It, it, it's not rocket science, but the, the uh, syringes take all day. And your once you do that, fill your inks up, your white ink. You next want to set up the printer. Mind you, they don't want you to do this on your own. They want you to set up a live thing, and and you void the warranty if you do. So let me let you know that now. But um, I um, removed the printer from my computer because I have a white toner as well. And it wouldn't let both of them activate. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to set up the, uh, the next step. Oh, pardon me. Uh, the roll. So, it's going to come, you know, disassembled, of course. Uh, you'll have these black rolls, you, I mean, these black wheels. You stick them in between the roll. You make sure the mat is on top, of course, but it always goes over. And these here, the back of it is... The second from the top, you know, you can figure that out by yourself. You just stick that in and tighten these up on the end. It's, you're not going to have much room, but, you know. And the front is the second from the bottom. These here, I don't use. And there's a um, bracket that you can connect right here. I don't use that either. But, you know. If you want it to be, I guess, more stable, you can, but I, ha I haven't had any problems with it. You want to cut you a piece. This is uh, this is why I was going to clean my, uh, what's the name, my print head, because it was transparent. But anyway, you want to take you a piece. These come a loose um, with the Allen key. You can tighten them. You can adjust them. So, hold on. Let me sit this down real quick. Uh, pardon me. Or maybe I'll 
maybe I'll edit it, make it a little better. But uh, you wanna stick you a piece of film in there, cut you a little piece of film, and adjust it. I gotta tighten mines up because you see that space in between there. But you wanna get it as close as you can, you know, to stop it from doing this because it will start to um, get off balance every now and then. I'm used to it, so you know. I don't really care. I, I, I know how to line it up. But, uh, you know, you put your film in between there and adjust that. And, like I said, I got I got, I got to use both hands. Pardon me. And I set up me a little shelf. That's why it's like this. I had it um, separate, but I'm, I'm remodeling my little space here. So, but anyway. Uh... You want to make sure that the mat side is always flipped over. And when you feed it, it goes over the bar, but under this little black piece. And you're going to have to, let me move this again. And you're going to have to pretty much guide it to get it, to get it in between here. Because if you just try to stick it in there, it's just going to fall down. So you're going to have to guide it. And once you get it to where it won't go no more, then that's when you uh, press your film load button. But I got it turned off. Uh, let me turn it back on. Uh, Every time you turn it off to do whatever, usually you'll turn it off to uh, clean your, um, what the hell is that called? Captain station. Sometimes it'll clean the uh, blade, but... I had the printer off about four hours trying to clean out about the thought the damn thing's about to cut off again. But yeah, once you uh get your film right, you just hit that and it'll start coming out. Uh but so pretty much after you got that set up, I know it was a little fast, but uh that's pretty much the gist of it. The the printer is pretty much uh, put together once you get it out the box you just get familiar with these buttons like I said this is your main power this stays on so that light should stay on all the way and this is your secondary power to you know actually get things moving now like I said keep this the manual this is the, the ink shaker that bang, that you heard that's what that is and this is you don't touch this unless you um, on the phone or online with support and they'll handle that but uh moving on